Good day to everyone. Today we are going to I'm going to show you how to use OBS Studio. Now first we need to identify the parts. So we have here on the upper part we have the menu bar. It contains file, edit, view, profile, scene collection, tools, help. Now the big block rectangular part is what we call the canvas, this one. Now, below the canvas, we have the different docs. Scenes, sources, audio mixer, scene transitions, and then controls. So, let's proceed to controls doc. Let's click settings. Under general tab, we will not change anything there. Under stream, none also. Under output, we will change your recording format from FLB to MP4. Then audio, leave it as it is. Video, we will not change anything. Hotkeys. In hotkeys, we will place some shortcut keys. Now, for example, for me, I may, or let's say, I will use function 1 for start recording, function 2 for stop recording. Now, if I want to pause recording, I will use function 3. You may just press your function key or you may uh, combine the keys fn and then the function key. For me, I need to press fn plus the function key now for unpause recording unpause recording means uh, you resume recording after you pause so it will be f4 so those are the keys that i need now for replay or streaming we will not change those we'll just put some shortcuts for recording under advanced you will not change anything. Now click apply and then click OK. So the controls are now ready. So next, let's try to record something. Now we need to record, let's say, we need to go to No, we will not yet record. Uh, we will set up first your audio mixer. Now for your audio mixer, you need to go to filters. You right click on for your microphone. There is a gear beside the volume symbol under microphone. Click the gear, go to filters. I have already added noise suppression and compressor that is needed for your microphone when recording. So to add those filters, so you will see a blank uh, filters, filters menu or filters context menu. Go to plus. Let's add compressor. Just click OK. So the compressor filter is now added. If you want to adjust those, you may if you are sure what you are going to do. But the default setting is OK. Next, we will also add noise suppression. You may decrease the noise suppression or increase. But uh, negative 30 is OK. Click close. So we are done with audio mixer. So we are done with controls, there's no need to change scene transitions, done with audio mixer. Next, that is the sources. Now to use your sources, first you need to add your sources. We have here the plus and minus. We need to add, uh, you need to click plus to add your sources. So let's add. Now I'm going to add my video. I am not using any microphone or any uh, audio output, so I will not add audio input and audio output. 
I will add say video capture create slash select source and just click on ok now your video will appear okay. if you only have one camera it will automatically appear on the screen so you just click ok now you can move your camera anywhere you can also resize your camera now take note for the size of your camera it must be proportional to the size of your uh, whatever what is uh, and must be proportional to the size of your background do not make your camera so big that it will not that it will cover your background so you may you can make it small now if you want to deform if you are going to click and drag the corners the sizing is proportional but if you want to deform that one you may use the uh, red button on the sides but you need to press shift click and then drag so it's already distorted so that's the use of the button on the sides but it's better if your the size of your camera is proportional so i'll just place it on the upper right the next I need to add some backgrounds let's say I need to add an image now locate the image that you will add say so it's in pictures oh, there's nothing here image pictures maybe try the pet seal where's that I said a while ago the pet seal the pet logo and yeah, now the pet abra rather the pet abra so there's the seal for the pet abra Maybe resize it. Okay. Next, let's say I will put a background picture. I'll go again to sources plus another picture. Okay. Browse. I use an abel this one for the background Now, if you notice, my the, my camera and the seal is already covered. So what we are going to do is we know that this is the background. We just drag it down, click and drag. So the arrangement of the layer will appear on your canvas. It's like uh, it's the same with the concept of Photoshop, the layering of. Uh, canvas so we now have your seal your camera the background photo so next step mm, I will now capture a window that I want to record now by the way in your sources you may also rename your sources if you want to rename your seal you click on the sources right click rename so that source is your seal video capture this is your let's say i'll rename it also my webcam image 2 this is my i will rename it also as 
background. So we are now aware. Where are those or what are those sources? Next, I'm going to open my. So I'm going to use. Uh, for my example, I'm going to record paint. Paint as my source. You may use other sources. So I'll open paint. Let's wait for the program to open. So my paint window is now open. I'll increase the canvas, canvas size. So since my, uh, let's try, paint. I'm using the mouse. So I use the paint, I let it open. Now for your sources, you need to go to plus and then you will choose you will choose window capture this one then okay now in the window capture there are parts or there are windows available in here you just click this one in here click on paint so the paint window will appear on your window capture you just click ok now if you notice the paint window covers our seal webcam and background as I've said a while ago you need to position your source wherein they are properly arranged so for our window capture, we need to drag it below the webcam but above the background. And then we will resize your paint window. I will just resize it to this on the sides. So there is still a... Let's say that's the part, uh, that's the size. So let's say I can move that part. It's just the white part. I want that the white part will be shown. I want the white part only. Okay, that's perfect for me. So we may now proceed to recording and working with our uh, paint window. So since that we have already, we have set your uh, shortcut keys, we may now minimize this one. So, we'll erase that one. So, to start recording, since we already have your shortcut keys, I will now press your function 1, F1. So, I don't have to go back to the OBS window to record. So, let's try. Let's start recording. So, let's say we have here. Uh, my topic is on a uh, basic math addition. I have I changed the color. Uh, my example before. Then I will use brushes. So 
it's too big. It's too small. Okay, I have a triangle. Another triangle. And then I will use what is this symbol? Okay, write it properly. Then I'll use another color. So on the left side, I have three red triangles plus on the right side, I have, I'm sorry, on the left side, there are two triangles plus on the right side, there are three triangles. Now, how many triangles do we have? So, of course, if you know how to count or if the pupil can count, that will be equal to 5. So, if you want to stop recording, we will now press F2. So, that's the stop recording button. So, let's proceed to your OBS. Now, in your OBS, still says there is stopping recording. So there is a delay on my laptop. Then lang po natin. Now it's done. To find, or uh, now let's locate your output. It will be saved on videos. You will see here it's named after according to dates, dates created. So today is June 26, so I think it's this one, 9, time is 9. Okay, let's watch the recording. I hope it will respond immediately. And that's just the part that was recorded but that is the process on how to record it will automatically save after stop recording, after clicking or pressing the shortcut key for stop recording. So that's the first way of using your OBS studio in recording instructional videos. The second one is the use of the studio mode but we will discuss that one in the upcoming video tutorials. So, good day and serving you with a heart. Thank you.